I'm such a bad tech reviewer. Oh, me. Uh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is the future, guys. Take a look. No, thank you. Still too hot. Still too hot. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name's Ebony. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, I really hope you enjoy this video and if you do, make sure you subscribe for more. And if you're returning, I like you. Thank you for coming back. Today we have another tech review. This is my second tech review. I don't even watch tech review videos, but there are three reasons why I wanted to make another tech review video. First of all, who doesn't love a bit of tech? I love me some Apple products, so much so that I've accidentally dressed like Steve Jobs today. And that's that's reason number two. I'm like Steve Jobs, but with a bit more makeup. I honestly didn't mean to. I've just finished work and I, I got my iPhone in the mail today and I didn't unbox it. I didn't set it up. I didn't take it to work because I wanted to film this video. I'm so dedicated. <laughs> Third reason is that my last tech review is my most successful video on my channel and that is not why I started a YouTube channel. I am um, I mainly do fashion and travel videos. So if you like those, hey, I'm not a tech YouTuber so sorry guys. Um but I uh I thought it'd be fun. So without further ado, let's get into my iPhone XR unboxing. So right now I'm currently using the iPhone SE which I have been using for the past 2 years because I was in a 24 month contract. Ugh. So I've been a little bit behind. As you can see, this is my iPhone at the moment. So I'm extremely excited to upgrade my life. It's a bit of a step up. I've skipped a couple of generations and gone straight for the XR. The one thing I'm a bit apprehensive about is the size. I did do a bit of research on the phone before I bought it, which I'll try and talk about during this video. The main thing I was worried about was the size of it because it's, it's quite a lot bigger than the one I'm used to, which fits nicely in my palm. So we'll see about that. Other than that, I'm really excited because everything is an upgrade in terms of the camera, in terms of the technology, in terms of the storage. I think currently I'm working on eight gigabytes, which is nothing, obviously. Um, so I, I think I have about like six apps that I can actually use on my phone because when I download apps it means that I can't take pictures and when I can't take pictures I can download apps. What? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's um, unbox this baby and... Oh yeah. It's on. It's turned on. Is that normal? Okay. So that's the phone. I'm just gonna place her down. So I'm just gonna show you what's inside the box. So it comes with some Apple earpods. And obviously a cable, which I don't think I wanna open. I feel like those are like literal gold dust. And even so, I feel like they're made to break anyway. So you're gonna go back in there. And then these things, which I think I have quite a few of already, but always handy and you know what I do top tip I always sharpie my name in here because I don't know if anyone who's watching works for like service industry retail industry you know when you have like a staff room or a back room or even at school if you're at school uni um your housemates if you've got housemates if you're living in a house share these things can really get mixed up and I know not everyone takes care of their like apple products so like things like this I like to sharpie my initials on and my um plug thing because also people buy fakes and they look exactly the same, but they're fake and they might not work as well. So blah, blah, blah. Anyway, top tip, sharpie your belongings. You should sharpie all your belongings, really. Like, take it back to school days when your mum would sew in a label into your clothes. Let's just sharpie everything. Like, this is mine. I own this. So, like, my territory, but don't pee on it. Look in the lid. I've got some instructions here, which I'm sure... Oh, hello. Cute. Uh, stickers that you always get. Does anyone use those stickers? Can someone comment below? If you use those stickers, those Apple stickers you get with like all the Apple products, where did you stick them? <laughs> like, what do you do with them? I, th I think I've got quite a few and I, I've never used them. What do you do, like get a PC and like <laughs> stick them? Go to like a computer shop and like stick Apple logos on PCs. Pranked, April Fool's Day. Huh. Got your instruction booklet, how to set up the facial recognition which is really exciting i've never had that before i've always had a phone with a home button as well so that's going to be taking some getting used to um and then the little thing for swapping my sim card over which i do need to do but i won't do that on camera i'll do that after because that's boring um i'm hoping that works all right just swapping my sim card over because it's the same phone provider so it should be fine 
Um, so yeah, let's get to the exciting bit, which is setting up of the phone. That's what she looks like. Oh, she's not a tech reviewer, but maybe she's the hand model. <gasps> oh, it goes all the way over. Oh. Whoa. Hmm, that one's satisfying. Oh, she's shiny. Let's do a comparison size. So this is my old phone, the iPhone SE, and this is my new phone, the iPhone XR or 10R. I like saying XR, um, and that's the size difference. Technology. This is the future, guys. I am back. I went away for about 20 minutes just to set up my new phone. I had to back up my old iPhone to my computer and then reinstall it onto this phone. So I am up and running. Um, I've just basically got exactly what I had on my old phone onto my new phone. And I am like going crazy thinking about the amount of apps I can now have. Like I mentioned before, my old phone only had eight gigabytes of storage, whereas this has 64. So I am is so excited about all the pictures I can take, all the videos I can have. I've got iMovie on this phone now so I can like edit on the go. It's gonna be fab. I was just playing around with portrait mode uh, just then because I've never had portrait mode and I think that's the most exciting part of this phone, which is really sad. I'm so sorry, that's so sad. So first impressions, obviously the phone screen's a lot bigger. The setup process was really easy. I just had to connect to my Wi-Fi and transfer over. It took about 10 minutes, which was great, because in the past it's taken me ages. I've noticed that there's a lot more apps that come on the phone. For example, Measure, GarageBand, Clips. I don't know what that is yet. Apple Store. And then it's in the process of loading all my other apps right now, as we speak. And I'm looking at the camera quality. Um, that's kind of what I was checking out before. Um, and it's looking insane. I think I'm fitting a lot more of my room in than I would have before. I think this is gonna I think this is gonna be really handy in terms of taking pictures, um, like street pictures and things like that. Um, I haven't tested it in lower lighting, so that'll be interesting. Um, the portrait mode I know only works when there's a person in the frame. It won't work on objects, which I believe it does on the iPhone XS. Is that the iPhone XS? The more, the better one than this. I think it's an XS. I'm the worst tech YouTuber, I'm so sorry. And then I've been like practicing like the swipey motions. So uh, you swipe up from the, where it would be the home button. So if you're on an app like health, you swipe up to get back to home screen. Apparently if you swipe up and hold, you get to um, your old apps and things, which are loaded from my other phone. Yeah, so it unlocks just by swiping up. I'm just, I'm still getting used to it, guys. But all in all, this is like super smooth, super lovely. I'm really gonna have to get used to like, the size of the screen, but I can imagine that when I got YouTube loading, it's still loading. Um, when it's got, when I've got that up and running, it's gonna be so cool to have like it on a big screen. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this phone. I, what more can I say, really? It's great. It's really sleek, really like a little liquidy. I think that's what it's called, like liquid retina or something. Um, I heard from another YouTuber. So I purchased this phone case on eBay um, a couple of, like three days ago, four days ago, just as I ordered this phone. And it came really quickly and it's a bit like my old phone case. So I really like the uh, magnetic cases and also when they're magnet magnetic and they can come off the actual case itself. So it's like, magnet oh no siri i'm not talking to you <laughs> okay i found this on the web for cases magnet magnetic like take a look no thank you and also this phone is waterproof i think <gasps> i think it's waterproof so i could do like underwater like slow motion <laughs> um not that i've got anywhere to go underwater in london um record video so you could do 4k at 24 frames per second 4k at 30 frames per second or 4k at 60 frames per second which is amazing so i'm going to do 4k at 60 frames per second that is the best of the best and i've got the storage for it so um i'm going to record some video now um, as a test and we're going to see how it works out so i am filming on my phone you can see me there in the camera let's see what happens when i zoom in 
Oh, it's so smooth. I don't even think this camera is that smooth. <laughs> um, it's really lovely. That's, let's show you a nice corner. This is my nice clothes rail there, my nice bush. Um, I was distracted by this picture earlier because it's a bit, gone a bit wrinkly. And I have no idea why. I might have to take it out for frame and smooth it. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my um, camera setup if you're interested. I've got a light facing at my white ceiling reflecting and I've got all my spotlights in my apartment. Got a nice wall there, some plants, and then this is where I'm uh, grabbing things <laughs> from. Um, yeah. And this is the selfie front facing camera. And the quality of this is incredible. I'm really interested to, interested to match it up with my camera behind there and see the difference in quality. This is so smooth. Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna try in slow-mo. Okay. <laughs> Let me see that back. <laughs> so cool, I love that. Um, right, I'm gonna pop it into its case now. It's a brand new case. So yes, that is the end of this iPhone XR unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really sorry if this didn't contain as much information as you might want. I just thought it would be a fun video for me and maybe for you guys to watch. And I thought I'd document my unboxing of the iPhone. If you are interested in any more of my videos like fashion and travel and vlogs and events and um, hauls, I do a few hauls. If you're interested in those kinds of things then do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're listening to me talk right now. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. If you do like the these tech reviews like if there's one two maybe three of you who might like these do let me know because i will keep making them i'll keep buying things and reviewing them in my own special way and no information whatsoever um yeah so thank you very much and i will see you in my next video bye